Woo, it's time to upload new stuff and I feel a little bit nervous because this will be the moment a new very exciting thing is coming soon. This kind of sh hey, what's up? Gleb Alexandrov here for CreativeStream.com. I love nerd stuff. It makes me really happy for some reason. And welcome to this new vlog on CreativeStream.com. Today we'll be talking about the upcoming video course, which is called HDR Image Based Lighting in Blender, where HDR is high dynamic range, obviously, and image based lighting is this lighting technique, which uses images uh, to illuminate the 3D objects in your scene. Usually that means that you use spherical 360 degrees environment around your scene just to illuminate it from every possible direction. Well, this is image based lighting, and this course is going to be released on the 22nd of May, so mark it on your calendar. Never mind, just check out the teaser if you haven't done it already. The number of likes is insanely encouraging. For these likes, at least two of them comes from my mom, and we released the thumbs up monster. Ever since we released the realistic lighting course on Creative Shrimp, I wanted to try this pay what you want stuff on Gumroad. Well, action! pay what you want kind of thing, so we can create value together with you. And if you'd like to get it for free, go ahead, by all means, get it for free. And if you'd like to get me a few cups of cappuccinos, that is much appreciated. You will be able to do that too. I call it freemium. Once again, what's this course is all about? We'll take a look at the full workflow of setting up the image-based lighting in Blender. Step by step, we'll explore the theory. What is high dynamic range, 32-bit images. Then I'll be walking you through the whole workflow step by step. And after that, we'll explore uh, tone mapping, basically filmic color management, uh, how we can use it to achieve photorealistic results. That's the plan. You will like it. And I feel just a little bit nervous about all of this. But I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will go very smoothly and everybody will enjoy it and the happiness will be all around us. By the way, here we have our Star Wars coffee, coffee cup, one of my favorite coffee cups, and you'll need a lot of this uh, because this course is aimed at the intermediate users. To follow the, through this course, you'd better have some basic knowledge of Blender, how to navigate in the viewport, how to open the node editor, how to create a basic uh, mix shader between diffuse and glossy and stuff like this. Also, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Jerry Perkins, aka Master Zion, for giving us the amazing model to experiment with without his robot. Well, it would be a completely different thing. Check out his hard ops add on for Blender and basically follow him because he's doing amazing stuff. Also, shout out to Greg Zal for providing us with four amazing HDR images that we can use to learn by example. And these images will be included in the project files. Thanks for these HDR panoramas from HDRHaven.com. And basically, I'm amazed about how our community and 3D community in general is so damn helpful. When I asked Troy Sabotka, the creator of uh, Filmic Blender add-on, when I asked Troy about some things related to high dynamic range, and scene referred rendering, he was so helpful. He spent about an hour talking to me about these things. And I also shout out to ID Bros from CGMasters.net. He helped me so much to pinpoint ideas and to check uh, the video course for mistakes. Uh, the sheer number of amazing comments just uh, really motivates me uh, to make such things, especially this one. Oh no, damn it. That was Gleb Alexandrov for Creative Shrimp. Dot com. Drink more coffee. Stay tuned, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and whatever else. We live in the transmedia world, follow us everywhere. Oh, that's creepy. I love doing this. Thanks, bye! Coffee and get back to work. <laughs>